to uh, join. So let's see. Uh, as I always say, start from the biggest. So let's say this is the rabbit. And if you want to just draw the big area, use a lighter uh, pencil mark. Okay, you don't have to draw it so dark. Also putting a little bit space for the yellow flower. Something like this, which is I'm going to mask them with masking for it. Draw roughly from the first reference image. And then I'm going to combine the second image. I'm going to make some modification because between the wild rabbit and the white rabbit is look a little bit different. The nose is right here. Down. Spend a little bit more time uh, carefully capture the accents um, so that it would look like rabbits. Uh, really quickly and around this is white is white space like this now we're going to compare with the white rabbit the white rabbits look like a little smoother and the shape kind of okay the nose a little bit lighter maybe have a little, little bit a little bit subtle red colors and the eye is a little bit smaller so i'm going to make sure it's not going to be too big so I'm going to leave the eye, maybe the last thing I'm going to do. And the ear also a little bit tippy. So I'm going to change that a little bit tippy ear. Like that. Okay, on the top over here, I probably have a little bit smoother. That, maybe a little bit higher. Like this, coming through. And the legs, just move it a little bit to the front. And this can come down a little bit. Okay, like that. It's gonna be a white rabbit. Okay, I think it's good enough. And again, this is gonna be just for fun. Okay, it's a fun experience. What we're gonna do now, the first thing we want to do, the masking fluid. So I'm going to just pull a little bit down, a little bit down into the cap. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use this smaller brush. I have a soap bar over here so you need to add some soap into the brush here right so I'm going to have this so that prevent the masking fluid would get inside of the brush okay now I'm gonna do it really quick just tap on it okay some flower look at the reference uh, some a little bit flower over here Okay, some flower over here. Tap a little more. And again, uh, you can draw a different shape for the flower. Okay, the flower over here. So when we paint the grass, we just paint really quickly with the big brush. We don't need to worry about that. Leave the little tiny space. Inside the eye, I'm just going to put a little dot over here. That is going to protect it. Now I'm going to wash my brush. And you see how very easy that become really clean. Now I have the masking fluid, not going to mix with uh, the paint. So I'm going to put this to the side. Okay, let's start painting from the background. So let's see. And have some light and dark colors combined together. I'm going to have first, and some people ask, is when are you going to wet the whole paper before you paint? Uh, it's totally up to you if you want the whole thing to be smooth, but I'm going to wet, touch wet, that coming down from the, from the top. So I'm going to paint the top over here like this, one color at a time, I'm going to get this color, okay, with the darker color and coming over here and maybe a little bit red take a little red or oh, they have some red over here and press into this color now I'm going to keep coming down and a little much darker color in the background I'm going to take a, take a darker with the red and the blue colors 
I'm going to take this color coming over here. You have to do it really fast. Now I'm going to paint around the rapper's ear. Okay. That's why I don't need to mask this. I want to have this actually connecting into the background. Now I'm going to change the color, get a little bit more yellow into it. So I have a little bit more uh, the green color, right? So I'm going to get a little bit even more yellow. I'll keep coming through. Get this a little uh, purplish color. Now, coming to the front, have a little bit more green color. But what about here? I want to keep it a little bit lighter, so I'm just going to use water to smooth this. So you're going to have a little bit, um, a little bit uh, lighter tone. So what I'm going to do over here with the uh, green color, get a little blue, a little yellow. I'm going to start it. There we go. I'm going to paint it around the shape of the rabbit head. It's gonna rub it, it's gonna be white. You can remind yourself, you already make the decision, make the changes. Like this. I'm going through. Keep coming down. Okay, let's see. And on the top over here, making sure it looks like a connected. sure that it's still wet so it connected into uh, this area the grass okay. now I'm gonna get a little bit more yellow color keep thinking about the three primary colors okay what color do I need now coming to the front okay. the front I'm, I want it to be a little brighter so I'm gonna, not going to use too much red color uh, in the mixture, right? So I'm going to just uh, get the blue color and get the yellow color. And this green color is a lot brighter than those green colors. You can see that now, right? Okay, because at the front, so you want the color a little bit brighter. Okay, now keep mixing a little more of this color. A little blue. Here we go. So I'm gonna go in through here, paint it around the rubber spot. But uh, some grass can come in a little bit like this. So use the corner, just the corner of the of the brush. It just cover a little bit, coming in like this. So we're gonna apply a little bit more color uh, next. But for the top over here, I wanna have a little bit soft. Uh, texture so I for now I'm just gonna put a little water to it you know sometimes somewhere you might want to have a little bit bigger so that's to create this year to create the water push the color around as soon as the color as long as the color is not totally dry it would have that effect right so it's Cool, now I can come back to it, do a little bit more at the front. So think about the timing. The timing is very important uh, to get what you want. Now I'm gonna mix a little bit of the darker. Cause the grass, it does have something in the shadow, something in the light, right? Like this. So very much like when you're painting, you're more focused on how you feel about things. If you feel something uh, that, think about what technique you can create that kind of feeling. Now I'm gonna over here, I'm gonna also lift up a little bit light. When it's still wet, lift up a little color like this. Look like the top of the grass, okay. I'm gonna let go a little bit color over there and to create a little bit light shape, a small light shape. Like 
this small eye shape. I think it's good, right? Yeah. Cool. Five minutes just passed. Now what we're gonna do now? We're gonna come in to lay the color for the rabbit. But before we're gonna painting, we're gonna first correct some shape first. Just the clean brush, right? And I'm gonna lift up the edge. You see that? They'll overpaint it into the shape. So I can just lift it up and let go. This is how easy with watercolor. It's very easy. Now, I lift up this shape. It's okay. That E a little bit in the background, so a little bit in the back, so I can lift it up. So I'm gonna have a little bit, just a little bit tone color, but a little bit warm color too. Uh, not so cold for the back of this ear, so you can separate this this space between these two ear. Okay, just one ear in the back, one back, one ear at the front, right? Now make it a little softer, like that. That's good. Now showing there's an ear in the back. Uh, the ear at the front, I just need a little red color. Uh, let's see, right in here. A little bit. Right here. Let's see. Look at the reference. More the second reference. Like this. Coming in like that. So you can see the white rabbit ear. Okay. Now I'm going to use a little uh, light gray color. This is, we have some light gray color over here. Start, create a little tone, a little change, a little shape. Like an eye over here, I have a little bit rounded. Now coming over here, showing that the face, and actually turning. So I'm gonna get a little bit gray color under here too. But this color probably also have a little bit more like a green color because the green color reflected up to uh, the, the chin, right? So we're gonna keep going on that. You don't have to do too much to suggest that. So a little color over there you suggested. Now I'm gonna combine with the first reference and the second reference so you can see how you're going to create a feeling of the rabbit body as a rounded okay, over here. I'm gonna get a little bit blue colors. I like the blue color better. Over here, like this. Showing the right rabbit. Uh, let's see. A little bit over here. Okay, and a little bit like that. I can lift up a little color. And now I want to do a little bit yellow color underneath. Maybe this is a good color. Add a little blue color. So this will be a little reflective color underneath the chin, underneath the neck. So you can see how the color re interact to each other when they are next to each other. Okay. I think the rabbits are already there. Oh, they look like a white rabbit. And also over here, we're go it's going to have some whiskers, some small white hair. So we're going to do that with scratching. So I'm going to keep adding a little bit more color in this area. Good. And I'm going to wait uh, three minutes before we can do the scratching. You're gonna do it too early, you're gonna do it too late. We forgot to do a pink nose. Huh? We forgot to do a pink nose. Uh, we can do something to the nose? Pink. The pink nose, okay, of course. I'm gonna do a little red, light red colors. Yeah, hey. <laughs> That's fine now. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to work a little bit into the eye. And the eye have a little bit red around. 
over here. So I'm going to do a little red around right here. Like this. And then when it drives, I'm going to work into inside the eye. And I'm going to add a little bit light blue colors over here. This is just suggested a little bit shadow in the ear. Hmm. And I'm going to soften that a little bit. I'm waiting for that color to be dry. Okay, we're going to see. Now I'm going to see if we can get the few here. Start over here. Huh. Look at all the details in the eye. Okay, now we're going to keep a little color inside the eye. Okay. And then we're going to give a little bit darker brown color. Give it this will be a good color, add a little bit yellow. Now I'm going to do the This is the pupil. Okay, it looks good. Now, um, the rabbit's almost in the shape. We can come back to give a little bit details after we remove the masking for it. And the bottom over here, we're gonna give a, a little bit definitions. Okay, a little suggestions. That's good. Now, let's take a look. And this part will be a little bit soft out. Now what we're gonna do, we're going to let go, lift up the masking fluid. Now here you go. You can use the finger to softly, you can remove that. Making sure the area of the paper is already dry. Okay, now we're going to fill it in the yellow color. The yellow color, let's see. A little bit like that. You don't have to fill in the whole shape with yellow color. Just look at the flowers, maybe the top a little yellow, but at the bottom uh, a little bit darker. Maybe the top a little bit light. Focus on the shape. And the yellow flower is a little bit lighter than the grass. Okay, good. And then underneath the flowers, we're going to use a lifting up technique to create a little bit stem. A little of suggestions. Yeah. yeah, a little bit. A little bit like that. And probably add a little bit as the final touch. A little bit shape for the grass at the front. And if you want, you can 
I'll show you create a little bit unexpected with the two brush for the texture. Give it a little more. And now to the background. Just one last touch, and we want to have a little bit darker in some area. Probably also around the rabbit ear, so the rabbit ear can look a little bit cleaner, like this. Now the rabbit can stand out a little, even a little more, right here. I think this painting is finished now.